Praise be Jesus Christ. Good afternoon. Thank you for joining me for Liturgy for Lunch for a liturgical snack. I just wanted to speak very briefly about All Saints Day, which is coming up here. It happens to be Sunday this year. And this is one of my favorite solemnities in the liturgical calendar. And this is the day that the church celebrates the saints, all the saints that are in heaven worshiping God. They have won the victory by the grace of Jesus, and by his power. Um, these are the people that have fought the battle that we're fighting now, the battle against uh, sin and against the powers of evil. And by the blood of Jesus, by his victory on the cross, and the graces that they received from that, they uh, have received their eternal reward. Um, they have overcome sin and death and are now worshiping at the throne of God. Now, I'm going to reference the episode that we did a few weeks ago about angels and that the angels are surrounding the throne of God, crying out, holy, holy, holy. Well, the saints are in heaven with the angels worshiping God as well. And so at Mass, the angels are worshiping God with us, but so are the saints in heaven. I don't know if you've ever thought about this, but the Mass is a foretaste of the heavenly liturgy. The Mass is a foretaste of heaven. Now, because we live on earth, on this side of heaven, uh, so to speak, uh, we still don't see everything that's going on. There's a lot mystically that we don't see, uh, so it has to be sacramentalized for us, uh, meaning that we see it through signs and symbols. And some of those symbols uh, you may not have thought about before, but I want you to pay attention uh, this Sunday and just be conscious uh, that they're reminders that the saints are worshiping with us and that they're praying for us uh, and assisting us in our battle so that we may join them in heaven. So at the holy, 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 when we're praising God, remember you're praising God with the angels and saints. You're singing the song of heaven. When you see the columns in the church, think those are the saints that are processing towards the altar of God. When we see the stained glass, it's a reminder of the beauty and the light of Christ that reflects through the saints. Now, I'm going to attach a couple of videos about uh, different things below, uh, some talks from Dr. Dennis McNamara, and he goes a little more into depth with some of these signs and symbols. But just remember, that when we go to Mass, we're participating in our earthly liturgy, but that through the cross of Jesus, it is connected directly to heaven. And so there's a lot going on that we can't see, but we understand through faith, through revelation, that uh, this to be the case. God bless you. I hope this was helpful. Very happy All Saints Day. Remember to pray for the souls of all the faithful departed, especially on November 2nd, the next day, when we remember um, the church suffering, all the souls in purgatory, those that are on their way to heaven but still need to be purified. Uh, may we pray for them and ask them to pray for us so that we may all one day be joined together in heaven, worshiping God with complete joy for all of eternity.